There it is, Josh Allen. It had been hinted for weeks, maybe months, that Josh Allen would be the guy for Madden 24. And just today, he is that guy, Madden 24. Now, don't talk to me about curses like the Madden curse. No. Let me tell you something. Buffalo, the Buffalo Bills, have been cursed for years. The hockey team as well, the Sabres, curse. This curse, I'm going to give you a little bit of history here. This curse goes all the way back to 1920. Believe it or not, Brett, I don't know if you knew this. In 1921, there was a team known as the Buffalo All-Americans, right? And in 1921, they actually won the league championship, yeah. right? So they thought. They agreed to some crazy two-game playoff exhibition. That's weird, right? Two-game playoff exhibition. They actually played that against the Chicago Staley's, right? Uh, and they split those games. But Staley went in and complained and said, hey, we should be the champions now because those two games were what meant the most. And he combined the total points for those two games and said, we should win. And guess what? He got his wish. So dating all the way back to 1921, if you want to check it out, let's see, it's now called the Staley Swindle. If you Google Staley Swindle, you'll read all about it. But there's been a bunch of other things. Did you know we had a shot at a professional baseball team and at the 11th hour, it was taken from us? You know who that baseball team ended up becoming? The Boston Red Sox. Really? Mm. The Boston Red Sox. So the, the list goes on and on. I mean, the four Super Bowl losses, the Music City Miracle, the drought, the 13 second game. Our hearts have been broken far, far too long. And here it is. Jake and I were talking last year. How can we break a curse? We are reaching out to, I don't know, people that knew magic, black magic. I don't know, all kinds of folks that could break curses. <laughs> We, we couldn't find anyone. But this is it, Jake. This is it. Everyone says this is a curse. This is the anti-curse. This is the curse that breaks all curses, the Madden curse. And Josh Allen's there. So that's one reason I'm super excited. The curse has been lifted Super Bowl bound this year. The second reason I'm excited, almost as excited for the reason of the curse breaking, and that is my 10-year-old son. I might finally get him to say the Buffalo Bills are his favorite team. You know, I told him on the way home from school, I said, guess who's on the cover of Madden 24? He said, who, Dad? I said, Josh Allen. He said, Dad, um, wow. And I said, okay, does this get you over the top? Does this make you Buffalo Bills? Are you going to say that? He said, I'll tell you what. He's already negotiating with me. He says, Dad, because he's on the cover, the Bills will be my favorite team this year. Josh Allen will be my favorite wow. player. If Josh Allen wins the MVP or they win the Super Bowl, the Buffalo Bills will be forever the number one team in his heart. Wow. Guys, this, we got to make this happen. This is, yeah. this is the chance to get my 10-year-old back over to the other side. I am so excited. I am so excited. Let me throw He's been hanging you. out with those, those damn Raven fans a little uh, too long. Man, like, oh, we got to bring them. Bring them to our side. Listen, I know we got two guys on our channel, Chris and Rick. Love them both to death, but we don't need any more Ravens fans out there, all right? We got plenty on this channel alone. Your own blood, Mike, should be a Buffalo Bills fan, so we need this to happen this year. And guess what? This whole curse thing, it's lost its luster. It lost it years ago. As Brian Label mentions, Patty Mahomes won a Super Bowl. Kelvin Johnson was on the cover, had a phenomenal yeah. year still, so I'm not at all worried. And if anything... This is like reverse psychology. So what's going to happen is you say there's a big old Madden curse. Well, we can't get much more cursed as it is, as Mike has just exactly. gone over. So guess what? This is going to shatter any type of curse that ever happened. This is going to actually do us even more of a favor, and we're going to win that damn Super Bowl. Josh is going to win MVP. He's going to be out there in Disneyland. He's going to be having a hell of a time, and it's going to be an amazing feeling when I'm at that Super Bowl parade come February. That's all I got to say. I want to yeah. see this in my son's defense. He, whenever he's represented me at a Bills game, he came out two years ago against the Dolphins in the uh, when they played the Dolphins in Buffalo, and he went last year to SoFi Stadium. There is a short, a YouTube short, that has over 30,000 views of my little boy wearing his Steph Diggs jersey 
I think he had his uh, Isaiah McKenzie signed hat at that time. Remember when we met Isaiah yep. McKenzie? He signed that hat for him. He was there going nuts. Come on, Josh. Come on, Diggs. Drop 30. Let's drop 30. He's been watching a lot of Cobra Kai. No mercy. No mercy. <laughs> but if you look at that video, dude, it's funny. I, love it. I was a proud papa. Over 30,000 views on that short. And that's my that's little boy. Awesome. He supports his dad. But we're going to get him to say the Bills are his number one team. Brett, yeah. how, do you, how do you feel about this, buddy? I'm thrilled, number one. Just because... I don't think we've ever seen anybody from the Buffalo Bills on the cover of anything or anything related to Buffalo where we were on the cover. So I'm thrilled to see Josh on the cover. I think it's going to be a big change for Buffalo. Now we're going to start getting a little bit more of the media side of it where, I mean, you think of Buffalo, it's a blue collar town. And now you see Josh Allen on the cover. You see Bill's mafia on there. And I'll tell you right now, this is going to shatter the record for the, the most amount of sales for Madden ever. I will promise you that because I know for sure I'm buying one. I hope you guys are, but we got to make another uh, deal where we got to throw out a word or something like that where we give out a Madden video game. Mm, now, that would be cool. I like that. When, when the pre-sales come out, we got to make sure that we get on the list and then we can – give it to somebody because i think yeah. that, that's a really good idea in my really? let's make it let's make it happen though so i love that brett by the way the pre-sales are available in the description of this video is a link for you to go to ea sports and put in your pre-sale order right now so make that happen and buy two of them i don't know if josh if you're watching i know you talk to andre um listen if i can send you one and have you sign it so I can frame that thing. There I'll buy. Go. I'll buy two of them. Buy one, <laughs> sign one, or buy two, have one signed. Uh, man, this is exciting. I, uh, Jake, do you still play Madden? Do you still play video so games? I, I wanted to talk about that. I've yeah. had a very tough relationship with Madden and EA <laughs> because I am the traditional gamer. So, in my opinion, and I'm going to say this, this might come off a little harsh. I don't think a good Madden has existed since Madden 08. And I, you know, I know I might get a little attacked, but Here's my reasoning, and you can go. There's there's a guy on YouTube who actually details every single feature that EA has removed from this game, and it used to be it used to be the top of the top. It was the best damn game out there. I I rival it up against any video game in the world back in the day. Oh four, Madden 04 was incredible. I think Madden 04 is the best Madden of all time. Yeah. But um, yeah, just they 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 robbed away so many features, so many things that made Madden great. Like they created a team, they lost. In my opinion, I think they lost the concept of having the offline player and now tailor it only towards the online player, the ultimate team, the microtransactions. And I understand why. They're making a ton of money off of it. But you can have that, but let's leave all the other stuff in there too. Why not? You'd have the ultimate game and there'd be no complaints. And then you would make me very happy along with everyone else very happy. So in my opinion, the greatest NFL video game of all time will always be ESPN NFL 2K5, and the greatest Madden of all time will be Madden 04. But my expectations are high this year, and I think, hey, you get this blue-collar guy, this gritty quarterback on the cover, you better come with some heat, and it better be the best damn Madden of all time. That means I want the old Madden minicamp in there. I want the old Madden cards, not these microtransaction ultimate team cards. No, no, no. I want the Madden cards where you'd – have to go buy them with money in the game, not your own money. And then you can use them as cheat codes during the game and stuff like that. <laughs> and the, yeah. the, the super intense franchise mode and the create a team, all that's create a player, all that good stuff. I want it all back. Bring it all back, EA, and then I will be a super happy man. But with that being said, this is a pretty special moment. And uh, let me tell you, I'm definitely going to get a couple posters. And if I do happen to hear that this game is something special, I might have to go buy it. I might have to do it. You have to, uh, Jake. You have to. You have the man statue behind you. I do. I if do. If you don't buy this game, um, I'm gonna call. <laughs> I mean, there's something wrong. There is something well, wrong. My issue is it's just the same game every single year, Mike. But hey, there's always room for change. And now we have apparently 2K is gonna be making a game here in the future. That's I don't know if it's arcade style or what. I don't think it's a simulation game. So it might be similar to like NFL Street. That's a game they got to bring back as well, because I'll tell you what, that was the best 
one of the coolest things of all time. That's like my second favorite game of all time. But um, no, listen, I understand it. I mean, Josh is on the cover, so I feel like I do at least, oh, Josh, hey, like maybe I should buy this game for him, you know? <laughs> but we'll I, I have a really good idea of what they could do with Madden. So you know how they have like the the regular edition where you're seeing with Josh with his head, you know, his hands like this and everything, and then you have the deluxe edition. Right. What about the Madden Coaches Edition, where you used to have a game called NFL Head or uh, yeah NFL Head Coach, and it was amazing. Bill Cower was on the front of it, Brett, and they got to bring that back too because I thought that was a really cool style of play. There's a lot of great things that EA used to do, and for whatever reason, I don't know if it's just greed or what, they kind of lost their way. And I, I think they got to just bring that back and then they'll be good. I think if you could go back in time, like you have the uh, Madden 24 coaches edition and yeah. you can go back in time and be like Pete Carroll and run the ball with Marshawn Lynch just to see oh, what like out. Madden. You could do like moments, Madden. Yeah, like moments. Like you can go back to Music City Miracle and like, oh, yeah, right call, see what happens in the game and everything at that moment. It's just, I think that that would be a really cool idea. Just do it, for like, do it for one year and then like forget about it for, you know, a little bit, kind of like Grand Theft Auto does it now. Yeah. You know, they do their series where they have it for, you know, a long time and it sells and sells and sells and then you bring it back again. And you can do it after a couple of major events. Like you could, the uh, Marcus Williams play on Stefan Diggs, play that back. Yep. And then would uh, that have been past interference on Nickel Roby Coleman? Go back I, and play that. I think that, that would be a really good. I hope idea. the I hope the writers are listening. You know, I'm the developers are listening to the show because we're giving them some free tips here that would really help this game sell. I mean, it's going to sell. Don't get me wrong; it's going to oh, yeah. sell. But man, but the coaches but, edition would be that would just take it to the next level. And all it is is just you're playing these little moments that happen in the game. You're not playing the whole game out. It's just those little moments that you play. I love. And it. You go back to that. I love that, Brett. The Bills would fill that up. I mean, all these yeah. moments, oh, all these sure heart-breaking would. moments. 13 we seconds. Would, you we, go would, back wide right. we would fill that yeah. game. Yes, that, I love that. That's a great idea. Um, look at oh, we got. Yeah. I want to bring up something, but Brian says, uh, bring back Tech Mobile. Heck Listen, yeah. Yeah. we asked this question to Andre Reid. I hope you watch that show, Brian. Check it out. One of the folks in the channel asked him about Tech Mobile, whether or not they played Tech Mobile back in the day. Because he said he loved throwing 115 yard passes from Jim Kelly to Andre Reed in Tech Mobile. And he was saying, Hey, do, do you play Tech Mobile like the guys play Madden these days? And, and he answered that question. It was pretty funny stuff. So I love it. I'm excited. Link is in the description. Go get your, your pre orders now. And I got to say it right now EA Sports, it's in the game. Let's go. Bring back the Madden cameos. Let's dude. That go. was so cool. Yeah. He would say EA Sports, then you have a player talking. Do, try to do his rendition ea sports into the game bring it all back mike that's what we need that's what ea's been missing for years and i'll tell you what you're gonna make a lot of people happy if they do do that